Hello there, it's Josh here. Today I'm going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at my average working day working on Fiverr. Today we're going to be doing some voiceovers, some green screen videos and some spokesperson videos. A little bit about me, my name's Josh, I am a voiceover artist, video presenter and video producer and I got started by using Fiverr and still to this day I'm still getting quite a lot of work on there too. Next month in June it will be my one year since I first started my account on Fiverr and you can see a video here which shows how I got started from creating the gig to getting my first order. So if you're interested to see how much money that I've earned in my first year on Fiverr, then make sure you subscribe, like this video because that video is gonna be coming next month. Okay, so let's get into my working day. Today I'm gonna to be showing you what I get up to with my work day during this lockdown. When I first started making this video, I thought it would be a good idea to show you how I start my day, from making coffee, making breakfast, to my workout routine. And then I realized that you're not here for that. No one is really here for that. You wanna see how to make money on Fiverr. You wanna see how I earn my money and how I go about my working day. So let's just dive straight into it and start from there. Okay, so after I've made my coffee, um, I generally go into the studio uh, with my dressing gown still on. And the first thing that I'll do is just get everything loaded up and I'll start charging any batteries that I might need for the day. So camera batteries, lighting batteries, anything like that at all. Um, then I'll go straight over to Fiverr and I'll start reviewing any messages that I might have, uh, respond to any clients inquiries, and then I'll check the open orders that I have for the day. So today I've got quite a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna start a to-do list. I usually like to tackle the easier jobs first, so that'd be voiceover. Some people like to get the hard stuff out of the way, but I personally like to do the easier things first, so I start collecting all of these sort of successes, all of these wins, which will give me more motivation to smash out the other work later. After I've made my to-do list, I get outside and I'll start doing my workout routine, as you can see here. Again, no one really cares about that, so let's skip ahead. I like to think that I eat healthily. It's the food that will fuel me for my working day. So I'll watch a little bit of YouTube while eating my breakfast and then I'll realise that half the day's gone and it's time to get cracking. So here what I'm doing is I'm taking the acoustic panels off of the wall to set up my studio for voiceover. These panels are homemade, I built them myself with the help of my girlfriend's dad and they do an amazing, amazing job of stopping all of the reverberation around the room and they make my voiceover sound really, really tight. Okay, and then now what I'll do is I'll go back through Fiverr again have a look at each order specifically and check out their requirements in full. So I'll be looking at any sample videos that they send me, having a read through the scripts and kind of getting into character a little bit. Cubase Pro 9.5 is my weapon of choice. I'm gonna load it up and we'll get straight to work. And then of course I get interrupted by these two lovely ladies, my cat Daisy and my girlfriend Sarah. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Then I'll start testing the microphone. One, two, one, two, one, two. Hey, kitty. I'm gonna do some voiceover now. Is that okay? Can I? Can I shut the door? So this might sound and look ridiculous, but actually I'm warming up my voice, I'm warming up my mouth. This helps me to project my voice better for the voiceover and uh, helps me to get my words to be a lot clearer as well. This is an important step. If you want to get into voiceover, make sure you're warming up your voice, make sure that you're warming up your mouth. You want to sound confident and you want to sound like a professional. Listen, I have to tell you the most important thing. So I'm going to do a dry read through of the script and that helps to give me a few ideas of how I should be reading it when I hit the record button. Okay, there was two takes there. I'm quite happy with both of them actually. So I'm going to send both to the client and uh, see what their feedback is. Okay, so that's job number one down and I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to edit it yet. I'm just going to move straight onto recording the next job straight away. This client has actually sent me the backing track that they're going to use in the video with my voiceover. This video is kind of like a, a fundraiser type thing for people that are in need. So hearing the, the track right now really helps me to get into the right zone. Due to the current pandemic, these people thought the aid would not arrive. But are still delivering your aid in 15 different calamity-stricken countries. Donate now 
and save lives today. Okay, last one. This one is for a college uh, Burger King ad competition. Yes, yes we did. Every single ad. It's got that kind of like cocky like, hey, you wanna have a good time? Kind of vibe to it. And uh, I'm gonna try and recreate that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how all of my voiceover takes went so far today. I like to leave everything set up whilst I edit, just in case that I find something unfavorable and I want to re-record it again. So I'm going to get comfortable and I'm going to start editing. This bad boy right here just ah sounds so good on its own. There's no processing at all whatsoever. No EQ, no compression, no limiting. No effects, no cleanup, no gate, nothing at all whatsoever. All that we can hear right now is this lovely Aston Spirit microphone, British made, um, in a acoustically treated space. Now, I don't actually always process the audio that I record here in the studio because a lot of clients like to do it themselves. That's now exploring. Okay, so I was very happy with those three voiceovers. Very simple jobs, nothing too crazy at all whatsoever. Let's go and get them delivered to the clients. So I'll upload the voiceover audio files to the client's orders on Fiverr, and now we can just wait for them to approve them and get some feedback. Great, that's all three of those voiceover orders delivered to the clients now. And now it's on to the next task. Okay, now it's time to start preparing to film. So first things first, I need to put everything back from my voiceover work. So putting the sound panels back on the wall. So we get to put a big tick over all of this. Now we're onto green screen. I like to keep as much of the equipment set up as possible so it's quick and easy for me to get going. So what we've got going on here is just a simple green screen cloth stretched up against the wall. We've got two cheap softbox lights that I got off of Amazon. Actually, the green screen and the two softbox lights actually came as a kit from Amazon. So I'm going to leave a link to that one in the description for you. So what we're doing here, we're adding the two softbox lights to light the green screen, which will allow me to pull a clear key um, when editing this video and if you don't understand what that means then maybe I'll actually go ahead and film a how to film green screen video for you okay so now I'm set up the key lights that Godox softbox there is my main light which is actually lighting me right now what we've got is a small LED panel and that's gonna be lighting me from behind that's another important light which helps to separate myself from the background and that will make my life so much easier in post and then the last thing that needs setting up is the microphone, of course, which is this one here, the Deity D3. All of the equipment that I use is budget friendly. It's yeah, relatively okay. inexpensive. Okay, so this camera that's on right now is my main This camera. idiot set up the so microphone, plugged it into the camera, the and then started speaking to the camera with the microphone behind him. You'd think and this guy was a professional, right? Hmm. Okay, basically what I'm going on about here, uh, I'm talking about my favorite lens, which is, which is the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 I use this a lot when doing green screen work so now we'll set up the camera and I'm using a inexpensive mobile teleprompter which just clips onto the lens and then you take your phone with a teleprompter app which allows you to read your scripts whilst looking into the camera and then here's my cheap monitor as well which allows me to see myself whilst I'm filming so all of this setting up for the green screen filming probably takes around 15 to 20 minutes at most which is not too bad at all now I'll go onto Fiverr and I'll download the scripts, upload them to Google Drive because PromptSmart, the teleprompter app I use, allows me to pull those scripts off of Google Drive and read them straight away. So that saves a lot of time for me. Okay, it's time to get into wardrobe. Bam, there we go. And now it's time to do my hair. So now I'm in full wardrobe and makeup, it's time to get filming. Once I'm happy with the framing, the lighting, and I've done a few little tests, I'll start reading the video script on what camera. What to expect when buying an... So, similarly to doing voiceover, I'll start by doing a dry read. And then I'll start filming. I'll probably film each video two or three times uh, until I get a take that I'm really happy with as well. Today, we're filming two green screen spokesperson videos back to back. <laughs> Okay, now I've finished filming, I have a quick look at what I've done just to make sure that everything is okay. And now, I'm happy with it all, it's time to start packing away.
DaVinci Resolve is my weapon of choice for video editing in general. I'll load the video files off of the SD card onto the laptop and drag them into DaVinci. First thing that I'll do is I'll choose the take that I like and then I'll remove the beginning and the end so I'm only left with the content um, that we'll actually be using. Once I've done that, I'll go over to the color tab and I will start pulling my key. The other reason why I use DaVinci Resolve is that the green screen options are so damn versatile and they're really beginner friendly as well. Once I'm happy with the key, I'll add the green background artificially, which means that my clients can then pull their own key in their own edit easier. Beauty with filming two videos back to back and using this software as well, is once I've edited one, I can copy and paste the settings onto the other video. Say one of the clients wanted me to split the video into two separate files and they wanted a white background this time, so that's what I did. Time to start rendering. Whilst that's rendering, I'll go ahead and I'll set up the camera for my last job of the day, which is a basic spokesperson video of me talking in front of my office setup like I'm talking right now. These setups are really simple. All we've got going on is the main key light again from Godox, a microphone, this one here, and then the camera with the teleprompter. It's extremely simple. Again, I'll pull the script off of Google Drive and chuck it on my phone and pull it into the teleprompter app. Go ahead, check out PromptSmart. It is the best teleprompter app on the market, in my humble opinion. So now we can go ahead and watch me film one of these videos. Hey everyone, as you already know, I'm currently filming the next episode for the best gear for professional vlogging series. The thing I love the most about PromptSmart is the voice track feature. So it turns on the microphone on your phone and it listens to what you're saying. Then the teleprompter will actually start scrolling based on the words that it can hear. Uh, I love it, it's great. Try it out, I'm not sponsored. So now we'll start packing up for the last time today and then I will pull this video file into DaVinci, edit it again, export it, and we'll get everything uploaded to our clients on Fiverr. Okay, so that was the end of a typical working day. Sometimes they can vary quite a lot depending on what jobs I have open. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you're looking to get into Fiverr or freelancing yourself. And remember, next month in June will be my first full year on Fiverr and I'm gonna be uploading a video showing you exactly how much money that I've been able to generate on the platform in only 12 months. If you're interested in working with me, then go ahead and click the links down below. You can get my Fiverr page or you can get me at my website. If you want some support or some advice, or maybe you just want me to have a look at your Fiverr account, again, hit me up on the links below and I'll see what I can do with you. So make sure you subscribe, stick around and I'll see you then.